Hello, my name's Ruth Walker and I'm a Partnership Manager at Sims and it's my role to help you make better use out of the software that you have. Today we're going to be looking at the Documentation Centre and how that can support you with your day-to-day -day role. On your home page you'll see the Documentation button here and you'll see a range of options that actually pop up. I haven't got time to look at all of those today but I'm just going to focus on a couple. We're going to take a look at the release note and we're also going to take a look at the quick reference guides. But there's a whole host of options and I would encourage you to explore. If we look at the release note, you'll see that this gives you the option to select the one that's appropriate for your phase and your country. I'm going to take a look at the combined and the first thing that you'll see is an index effectively of what's covered within this release note. You'll see there's information around the technical areas of the versions of Windows and the versions of SQL 2012. We've got some information about backing up, about documentation, further information about documentation. You've also got some information around the compatibility between the LEA Central System 1 and our SIM system. And then we come on to the various module areas. You'll also see the symbols here which indicate which are relevant to your particular phase and country. That's there really because we're looking at the combined option, but for your own particular one it would just be limited for yours. I'm going to jump down to look at the assessment area to take a highlight here. You'll see there's a link directly to the handbook there which will open up and take you to that if you want full interactive help. And then over the top we have the feature around the pupil premium indicator. It's a new addition to the filters, a great option I think in terms of being able to filter the mark sheet by those pupils that have the pupil premium. The second option that I wanted to show you was the quick reference guides. It's a particular favourite of mine. Essentially they are A4 sheets of paper that give you a very quick, very visual way of finding information out about the particular area. As you can see they're broken down here by the range of processes that we have in the software and this structure is replicated elsewhere. I'm going to go into the core area and you can see the list there we have just of quick reference guides for the core area. So imagine that's replicated across the various processes and we get a, soon get a very big list of uh, resources. I'm going to take a look at the Sims homepage and if I magnify that up a little bit you can see here we've got a very comprehensive view of how to configure and how to use the new homepage. A great resource to be able to print out and give to your colleagues if their homepage doesn't look this way, so that you can help them to get the best use out of information being presented to them. All in all, a great set of resources to provide you with help and support around your SIM software. As you can see, we are committed to helping you make the best use of SIMs. Hopefully, the variety of formats will help whatever type of learner you are. Of course, if there are things you think we've missed or you have suggestions for what you would like to be included in the Documentation Centre, please use the email link on the front page. More changes are to come throughout the year, so please keep your eyes peeled and thank you for watching.